guys, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood Part 2 and welcome back to our nice simple house which is now available on The Sims 4 Gallery. Uh, just so you guys know because a lot of you guys surprisingly really liked this house. I was thinking because it was so simple uh, and so like minimal. I just kind of thought that not that many of you guys would like it but it turns out uh, a lot of you are like me and enjoy having... Just, just the simple, the simple life for your sims. So go ahead and download that. My username is Deligracy. But here we have Judy, our grandmother, who is just chilling out. Uh, she's, she doesn't work, um, but she paints and she's fabulous. A lot of you guys have, like me, fallen, fallen in love with Judy. Uh, she's like based on. If you guys have seen the movie Meet the Fockers, uh, she is the. She's kind of based on Ben Stiller's mum, who is a woohoo therapist and like a relationship advice person. So she's like really free and not ashamed of the human body at all. And is just like, you know, a just into her spirituality and all of that. So she's a bit of a hippie grandma and she loves art and cooking. She's a fantastic cook, actually. And uh, she is the main caretaker of um, Bailey here, which is interesting. Oh, Bailey's home. Um, hey, Bailey. Oh, she's got a little rainbow above her head. How is school? We'll get uh, Judy to greet her. Oh, look how proud she looks. She's like, oh yeah, had my first day of school. So yeah, we made her the care dependent of Bailey. And a lot of you guys said maybe uh, maybe Clarice had a teen so pregnancy so. and wasn't uh, uh -huh. in a position to look after Bailey when she was younger. So therefore, that is why Judy is the care dependent for her. And I thought that was a great um, story and also a good, not only a good background story, but I think it also uh, is, is really nice. It makes sense why Lena. the dad isn't in the LP at this stage. All right. Do you mind giving her a little cuddle? Oh. Ask about school. Oh, she's going to do something on that Whoa, board. <laughs> hey, Bailey, how are you? How was school? I'm going to make you some food. Are you You're hungry? Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Oh, so beautiful. That? Actually, Bailey Here isn't that some... hungry. She can probably <laughs> wait until dinner time because she just had a few, like she uh -huh, just had a little uh -huh. snack. Let's get her something. Uh, Actually, what parenting can we do here? Let's see. Uh, let's use, oh, hug lovingly is a new interaction. We should have done that the first time. This should uh, level up her affection, maybe? I thought that might have done something. Kiss cheek. Oh, so much love in this family. All right, teach to say please and thank you. Uh, let's do that. Let's just do a little bit of parenting and teach to say sorry. And then, because she's in quite a, she's in a pretty good mood, uh, we can help with her needs and ask her to eat something or give a second wind, <laughs> encourage holding bladder. Her manners have gone up. Very good. Let's influence to do her homework. Can we do that? Influence to do homework, please. She can do a bit of homework whilst Judy makes dinner and then she can set the table. Perfect. She's like, oh my god, she totally knows what I'm saying. She's like, after doing your homework, you can set the table and then you can have some fun time. Oh, Judy is quite tired. Is she going to go do her homework now? Learn to say please and thank you. Oh, okay, we haven't got up to that. I'm, I'm way too keen. Oh, wow, it actually takes a lot longer to, to teach them. It's like a full-on lesson. <laughs> I thought she would just say, like, quickly, like, you need to say please and thanks uh, in... in in life, like just do it. And she'd be like, okay, but no, she has to explain it. Alrighty, I do have to say I adore these tiles. They are like a little bit dated in a way, but I love them. And also, uh, so you guys know, I also posted the speed build of this house. It's currently up on the channel or it should be really soon if it's not up already. Uh, so you guys can check that out as well to watch how I built it. And furthermore, Ooh, the Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town. Click on any of the dynamic sounds around town to find out more. Where is this? Light up the sky, purchase unique fireworks. Ugh, love fireworks. Choose a side. Are you the creature of mischief or comedy? Choose your side by indulging in the light or the dark tea. May the best side win. Set up performance. Make the masses laugh by performing your best comedy routines. Hmm, I don't think we'll be able to do this right now. I think we'll, we'll I mean, we'll, we will include a bit of city living game pack expansion packs are in this let's play but not right now uh, not right now we want to focus on just the basic stuff all right so 
let's not teach to say sorry. I think that's enough Rinchu. teaching for now. I want her to do her homework and I would like Judy to cook up a storm for dinner. So let's get her to uh, serve dinner and we'll get her to make maybe ooh, Capri salad, blackened bass. That's a fish, right? Pasta primavera, uh, gumbo, grilled cheese. Gumbo is expensive. $47. Holy moly. You know what? I reckon we'll do like a vegetable chili because obviously Clarice is vegetarian, so she'll appreciate that. There you go. And is Bailey. Yay! Bailey's doing her homework. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. This is so perfect. You know, Judy cooking dinner while... Oh, little Bailey's doing her homework. It's so nice just to chill out and, you know, play the Sims and control their life in a positive way for for once. Usually I'm like killing them off and doing crazy stuff. I gotta tell you, this is quite a different Let's Play oh, to my Alito. dream life. Oh, wow. Are you already done? Oh, good. I thought she had finished. I'm like, hell no. So she's a bit hungry and then she'll be able to, to have some fun before bed. Clarice just made a grand today. Oh, wow. If I made a grand a day, whew, she looks so good. Now, I did say in the last part, we'd go say hello to the neighbor. Uh, maybe, you know what? Maybe Judy will be a little bit sneaky and do a little bit of matchmaking and be like, I baked some cookies for you to take uh, over to to the neighbor's house. <laughs> Thought you might want to deliver them and say we made them for you. Oh, she'd totally be that mum to try and set you up with people. All right, her homework's doing fairly well. Cooking's going well in the kitchen. Uh, let's get Clarice to come inside. Imitate boss. Uh, maybe we'll give Judy a hug. So we'll get Judy to put that away. We're not quite ready to serve dinner yet. So I don't want her to automatically take that meal. We'll put that in the fridge. Uh, there we go. Easy peasy. All right. She'd be like, hey, hey mom. Aw. <laughs> Good parenting tips. <laughs> That's a new one. And can she do any parenting herself? No, not right now. Oh, well, I thought maybe she could. She should do a hip bump. That should be their mother-daughter thing. And we'll also... Uh, <laughs> brighten up Bailey's day. Boss, Say hello to her. You're and she's almost finished no, her homework. No. You know what? We'll also do a little bit of parenting as well. Yes. Responsibility oh. has gone up from doing her homework. That is very good. Silver, uh, encourage recent behavior, encouraging doing homework. She'll be like, you'll be as successful as me, Bailey, when you grow up. If you do your homework every night. Oh, she's got a little light up toy. Let's check on Bailey's Character values. How is she actually doing? Where is it? Here. So her manners is doing well. Her emotional control as well. Excellent. 720. I think it's time for dinner. So we might get uh, Grandma Judy to ask her to set the table. Parenting. Uh, teach to influence to set the table. This is drawn activity. More choices. Set the table. There we go. Clarice, no, 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 no. We're not ready to have dinner yet. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. I need food. Oh, well. She started a bit early. She's allowed to do that. You know what? No, she's not. I'm putting it away. I'm putting that away. Is she setting the table now? It, what? She didn't even set the table. No, honey. You, no. We need to teach her responsibility that the table must be set before you start eating. I just like took her food away. Oh dear. Let's just set the table with party setting. Fancy setting. Oh my God. We can pick which ones we want. <gasps> That's so cool. What party settings? Yellow, gray, casual setting. Let's do, I feel like Clarice. Oh, let's do yellow. I feel like Clarice would go tan, but Judy would be like, you can use the yellow table setting today. There we go. Beautiful. Fribs a bima. Oh, this is so nice. I love that. So she's learning. Oh, her conflict resolution isn't very good. How do we, uh, as, okay. How do, can we level this up? Okay, teach to say sorry. And fixing bad relationships. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. 
Let's call to meal. Ribs, cool there we go. I mean, our dinner is way later than anticipated, <laughs> uh, but that, that's Wound just that's kind of because we um. Oh, oh what? We can't Who's get dinner now. Is it because it's here? Why don't we just put it in the middle of the table? Can we just get everyone to grab a serving? There we go. Everybody eat. Everybody eat, and then Bailey, because you've done your homework, you can um. You can... Oh my god, they use the placemats too? Well, I mean, of course they do, but... This is so adorable! They're having a family dinner together! Oh, wow. I am... I am... This makes me so happy having this in The Sims. It's these little details that really bring me back to The Sims 2, and I just... Oh, I love it! Judy's like, mm, I am a good cook. All right, how about Candlelight. Clarice has a little bit of a conversation. Uh, give a heartfelt compliment to your daughter. And Judy, I think uh, maybe Judy can have a little bit of a gossip, you know? <laughs> a little bit of a gossip's always a good time. And Clarice, what do you have? Okay, she works five days a week. She's a pretty hard worker and she earns good money too. Okay. And then Bailey, we really need to, when it's, I mean, it's a Monday, but on the weekend or maybe one night after school, we should go out and meet some people. Ooh, Max is part of the renegades. Hmm. Neither friendly nor foe, just an average relationship. Okay, well, maybe we can get to know Max and he can be one of our good friends. Bailey's like, I learned how to use a computer today. <laughs> okay. Oh, they just disappear. All right, so oh, Bailey is such a good girl. She's going to be like the perfect sim because she, you know, she has dinner. She knows to give herself a shower. Oh, wait, she ain't showering. She's just playing. <laughs> Here I am thinking she's so mature for her age, but no, she's just having fun. She has all these toys and that's all she wants to do. Okay. And maybe Clarice can then put her to bed. Uh, actually, you know what, Judy, you should use the toilet. Use a toiletty. And I reckon, yeah, we'll let Clarice put her to bed. Why is she washing the dishes in there? Oh, she's like, Mom! <laughs> Clarice is just like, no shame. Clarice is like, Mom, don't pee when I'm in the same room as you. She's like, what? It's natural. It's fine. We're made of the same bodily makeup. <laughs> Gross. Oh, she's so busting. Let's watch Bailey. What's she doing in here? Oh, I remember when I had toys in a bath. When I become like super rich and famous and I like build my own house, I'm still gonna have like toys in the bath. I'm gonna have a rubber ducky for sure. For sure. Oh, she's offing a little bit of fun. Okay, Clarice, I think it's time. Like I know you like being super clean, but I think it's time that Bailey hops out of here and we are going to tuck her into bed. Put Bailey to bed, please. Oh, she's changed. Nice little outfit. Clarice! Ah. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's, she kind of, I think being a good mother for her is hard. It's not natural for her. She's not a natural nurturer, but she really tries and her mom's teaching it too. And I mean, Bailey just sees her mom in the greatest light. Like she loves her mom and thinks she's the best mom ever, of course. Oh, good night, Bailey. Sleep tight, honey Aww. buns. Aww. <laughs> Such a loving household. All right, Judy's going to bed by, by the looks of it. Oh, she's like, it's stinky in here. Cool, Judy's going to bed. I'm going to get Clarice to have a quick shower. Maybe take a thoughtful shower and jump into bed as well. Let's just speed this up. And uh, in the morning, I reckon if Judy gets up a bit early, we make we bake something. Maybe Clarice can say hello to the neighbor, and we won't rush into a relationship too quickly. I I think. Oh, cool. Everyone's asleep. Excellent. Oh, and you guys also said to turn off all the lights. Actually, you know what? Let's. You guys said to put it all on auto lights, not turn off all the lights. How much does this look like a little crib? This little bassinet thing. What just happened? I don't even know. <gasps> Uncle Vlad. Hello there. I just wanted to welcome you to the community. And that's my uh, uh, lovely... Oh, and my, that's a lovely neck you have there. Uncle Vlad, I'm sorry, but 
I just don't want you anywhere near my perfect fam. <laughs> you just can't get near this fam at all. A few of you guys were saying maybe Judy should end up with a younger man over the, over the road instead of Clarice, which I thought was interesting. And then a lot of you guys were also like, oh, no, Judy should... Oh, honey buns, you need to go to the toilet. Look at her in her little slippers. A few of you guys were like, Judy should... Uh, date a woman and explore her sexuality at her elder age, which I thought was quite interesting as well, because I don't think, you know, usually in popular culture, elderly people aren't really seen experimenting with their sexuality. I guess people assume that they've figured it out by then or they're just not as adventurous, but Judy, 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 if there's, if there's an elder who is still living life to the fullest, it's Judy. I didn't know though. Comment down below though what you what you want. Okay, so I reckon Bailey here. I mean, she's she's done her homework. She can have a play. You know what? Why don't we get her to do some arts and crafts on her special arts and crafts table? And Clarice has still got her lunch in there. Uh, you know what? That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Bailey can probably get her own breakfast. I don't. I don't think we need. Ooh, fish pie. I don't think we need her grandma to cook breakfast every day. Like she can have cereal. Uh, but what I will get Judy to do is I want her to bake something for the neighbors. Bread pudding would be nice. Chocolate souffle. Yes. <laughs> and maybe Clarice. What time does Clarice have work usually? She has work in four hours. Okay, so she has time. We got time. We got time. Oh, and she's, why isn't she in such a bad mood? Unpleasant surroundings. Oh, just from this. It's not that bad. Come on, Bailey. Character building. What else is bad in the surrounding? Oh, okay. We, we really, we should have put that away. <laughs> definitely, definitely should have. Just getting started. Ugh, I've played The Sims for way more than five hours. I will tell you that. Resume chocolate souffle. Judy, why are you being so difficult this morning? Usually you love cooking. Woohoo! Woohoo! Should encourage. Oh, shout forbidden words at Bailey. That is so mean. Make some funny faces. Meanwhile, G's like, I'm on fire this morning. I can't wait till Bailey ages up and can get some pimples and stuff. Okay, Clarice, you need to get up. Up and Adam. She also needs to have a little bit of fun. She needs to make her business calls as well as per usual. Uh, yep. So we'll get her to make those business calls. Where are we? Wait, what? Where do we make business calls? I'm having a, there we go. I was blind. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, good. Okay. Making the business calls at seven in the morning. Oh, that's very nice, Bailey. What a beautiful but butterfly you've made. Oh, that's so cool. It's disappearing ink. It's invisible ink. My gosh, it's fabulous. Amaroshi. She's taking ages to make these souffles. Okay. Oh, she's definitely having a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Go to grade school. Oh no, she didn't eat. Oh no, the lunch. Oh no, I'm. Oh no. <laughs> I, I, I thought. Uh, I thought she her school was like an hour later. Oh gosh, my parenting is not as good as I thought it was. <gasps> Those look amazing. Oh, Judy, 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 you're amazing. Okay, so she's made those business calls. She has had a lot of fun. I think what Judy will say to her is, wait, where is she? Become best friends. And then Judy should encourage her to take the chocolate souffles over to the neighbor's house and introduce herself. becoming best friends. Aw, nice. So we'll, uh, we'll get her to have a little bit of a Judy gossip and say, honey buns, go over the road, go introduce yourself to that hunky man. It's like, oh, fine, mom. <laughs> All right, we'll put those in our inventory. And she says, wear something nice. What, what, can, what can she wear? Let's change it into... Something like this. The pink trousers and the gray top is quite nice. It's very, it's just nice. It's very proper. All right, let's go over here. Visit residence. 
with Judy. Should Judy go? No, I think Judy is the type of mum to say, go by yourself. And then she would be peeking over this fence, like in her nightgown. <laughs> oh, Judy. Just, just, just Judy. Okay, let's go say hello to the neighbor, introduce yourself. And a few of you guys were saying, it's a bit of lag here. A few of you guys were saying, uh, you wanted me to focus on the ladies in the family before looking or searching for a love interest because you know what? They don't have to have a love interest. I thought it was just good to make friends with the neighbor at first. Oh, he didn't even come to introduce us. Okay, uh, let's do a friendly introduction. It's weird they didn't come to greet us at the door. <laughs> I also Still built this house. It'll be up next week on the channel. Uh, it'll be a speed build video. Oh my god, I so want these guys to just be a couple. Shout forbidden words at Oliver. I don't think so. Let's be funny. Joke about politicians. And maybe we can have some fun by watching TV. Oh, we probably don't really have that much time. We're just quickly dropping in the brownies. There you go. There you go. Oh, I forgot to give Bailey a lunch. Too late. <laughs> Just be like, oh, Ooh, smell that. I just baked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you didn't bake that, did you? Insult yard. Oh my God. Give parenting tips. Maybe just discuss the neighborhood changes. Oh. Or a bay. Look at how he's looking Inja at her. Bay, Manzo. Frolis Gerga. Yeah, these guys would be such a cute couple. Yeah, he's a very, sunny. very attractive mm -hmm. sim man. Pinder Yet again, we... Oh. Finding my Sims Marisha. attractive. <laughs> Anyways, uh, she's got to go to work soon, doesn't she? Time for work. All right, well, let's just say, well, I just wanted to uh, draw, say hello. We've just moved to the neighborhood. Drop in uh, some souffle. And I must say, you do have a lovely home here. And by the way, his name is Oliver McCormick. Thank you so much for having me. Perhaps uh, you can come over sometime with your son. It's like, oh, she was lovely. She's an attractive woman. Oh, yeah, he, he'd be swooning. Okay, so she's off to work. She's running. She, 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 you know what? She, it would suit her living in that pink house. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, uh, I think, I think that was, I think that went quite well. You know, we've met a potential friend. Judy, Judy needs a potential lover too. Actually, what I might do is check on the gallery now uh, to see if any of you guys have created any uh, Sims for Judy. Because I did say in the last part to feel free to. Also, what is Judy doing right now? I feel like she just hangs out in her nightgown all day. Oh, she's cleaning up yeah, Bailey's things. Minute. That's cute. Let's just see if there's any love interests that you guys have created. I think the hashtag I said was, uh, oops, connect the Funkin' you. What did I, the hashtag I said was Deligracy Parenthood. So once we're connected, let's check this out. Deligracy Parenthood. Ah, here we go. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Wow. Oh, wow. We, oh my God. I have to like go through these properly. This is, oh my God. Oh my God, look at this guy. <gasps> I love him. He's so cute. Okay, I'm saving him to my gallery. He's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wait, who made that? Shout out to Tanja2402202. That's a big username, by the way. <gasps> oh my God, Judy's lover. Colin has always been the odd one. He's really smart, but also a bit clumsy and people never gave him a chance. Colin's one dream is to be part of a family and be surrounded with people who love him for who he is. He has always been the shy one and never put himself out there, but when Judy comes across him on a morning stroll, they instantly connect. Judy and Colin are like two peas in a pot. Oh, he's clumsy family and he's genius. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. I want to download all of these, all of these Sims. <laughs> they look so cute. Oh, we've got a family here. I like it, very, very nice. What a beautiful looking fam. This looks like a bit of a fancy man. Antonio Trevino is a world famous Italian cook. He was just retired and moved to Newcrest to find someone to spend the rest of his life with. Very nice. Karikiosef. Karikiosef. Uh, oh, that's an awesome family. 
Another single mom. Got some acne there. Hey, this looks like... That looks like, um, Bailey. Oh, we've got twins. Topaz. Triplets, maybe. Oh my god. Well, if you guys are looking for some inspiration in your gameplay, this is a pretty good hashtag to find some other families. Uh, they look really good. I'm gonna have to go through these properly, probably off camera. And who's this? Noelle. Noelle has always been a free spirit at heart. After graduating from San Maishino Academy of Art in the 60s, Noelle traveled the world to obtain as much inspiration as possible. However, this adventurous free spirit has always been lacking one thing, a partner who matches her freedom, loving, and wanderlust nature. Will Judy turn out to be Noelle's soulmate? Aww, Noelle. Oh, she does look like a free spirit. Alrighty guys, well I'm gonna leave this part right here. Oh no, I can't stop looking at them. An elderly bachelor for delivery sees parenthood. Let's say had in my game as a kid's nanny, but science since aged him up, he needs a new purpose. Oh <laughs> Alright you guys, I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.